We've now come to the end of this talk on health and well-being, and I hope that you found this helpful and that some of the bits that I've talked about have given you food for thought and maybe even some, some bright ideas about things you'd like to change in your life. If we all knew how to make that change, then life would be straightforward, wouldn't it? We all know the what. We know if we're overweight. We know if we're doing things that aren't very good for us, like smoking or drinking too much or being physically inactive or so, you know, have, if we have relationships we need to sort out. But it's, it's the why we need to change and it's the how we change that is the really, really fundamentally important bit and makes the difference between success and failure. So my tips for you in this area are be clear on what it is that you want to change and why you want to make that change. Ideally, what we call intrinsic motivation. So not, not being motivated because somebody else has told you, because you feel, oh, maybe I should, but something that you feel strongly about, your reason for making the change. Maybe it's so that you could be um, more physically active or way less so that you can enjoy spending time with your children or your grandchildren. Maybe it's achieving certain goals of, in terms of physical activity or success at work. Be specific about what you're going to do. People will often say things like, I will drink less, I will smoke less, I will eat less. But you, it, you would be more likely to be successful if you are specific. So for example, you say, I won't drink on a weekday evening. Um, I will sign up for the smoking clinic at the practice, for example. And think about how you'll measure your success. Again, if you choose something which is measurable, and at the end of the day you can say whether you have or you haven't done it, or at the end of the month whether you have or haven't achieved it, setting yourself up for a goal that you can measure is again more likely to either encourage you if you've been successful, and then you can then build on that and do more, or if you haven't been successful it might give you an idea of, of perhaps where things didn't work out quite so well. Think about who you'll be accountable to. If you give other people permission to be your referee, to ask you questions and to support and encourage you, you're more likely to be successful, particularly if you and one or more people are doing something together where you can encourage each other in some kind of group or shared activity. Think about how you'll reward yourself. Some people use temptation bundling as a technique, so they might, for example, watch a favourite episode of their favourite Netflix series only whilst on the treadmill. Or the money that you save from spending less on alcohol and cigarettes you might save up for a holiday. And don't worry if you fail at first. Life is about learning and adapting. If your system failed, rather than blaming yourself personally, think of it as a system failure. Think about, well, maybe, you know, what didn't work quite so well and how might I, rather than being disheartened and giving up, how might I do something differently so that next time I'm more likely to be successful? In terms of the next steps, what I recommend you do now is complete your well-being plan, uh, put it somewhere safe, but also ideally you know, share it with other people so that you can be accountable in the way that we've discussed. Um, indicate what changes you would like to make and what you might like help with in terms of um, from health professionals. Obviously, some of your plan will be entirely personal and doesn't need to involve um, medical professionals, but there may be other things like, for example, reducing the amount you're drinking, quitting smoking, being referred to a weight management programme or a class for exercise and your GP surgery will be able to help you with all of that. So if you do send the plan to the GP surgery, um, they can then see what they can assist you with and arrange some further follow-up and support to check in on you a few months from now uh, just to see how you're doing.